do y'all want to see how fake battle rap has become? Do you guys want proof and evidence, bruh, of the type of games we playing with this whole fakeness and theater and battle rap, bruh? Do y'all want to see? If so, stay tuned and let's talk about it. Hold up, 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 hold up. Nah, 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 bro. Don't tell me, please, Lord, don't tell me that we've gone this far, bro, that we've taken this this far, bro. Please, Lord, don't tell me that this is the direction, bro. I mean, we already knew that we were becoming a scripted theater show. WWE WWF, but Lord Almighty, please don't tell me, bro, that these are the extents. This is the extent that we will go to simply to promote our brand and our name, bro. Please don't tell me that this is real life. If you guys don't already know, Byron Blake dropped the blog today. You guys know who Byron Blake is? Byron Blake is a figure who had some issues with Hitman Holla. He was the battle rapper that battled Hitman Holla, dude from jail. If you remember who Byron Blake is, constant issues seem to pop up, right? Over there with Hitman in that situation. My man Byron Blake dropped a video today exposing, bro. Expo and yes, I know that I've used the word exposed before, bro. But in this situation, this man exposes, bro, how fake everybody's becoming and how fake battle rap actually is today, bro, in December of 2022. I didn't think that I would be seeing evidence, bro, and proof to show me that these are the types of things that are going on in battle rap. I always, I have my thoughts, I have my beliefs, and we constantly talk about them. But it's different when you're looking at literally the evidence that shows you, hey, look, this is what's going on in battle rap, if you care to know, if you care to take a look, if you care to listen. We all know Hitman Holla had his recent premiere, Bags and Bodies. We all know about this, right? There was a whole, there was a whole, whole controversy going on for a couple of weeks, probably still going on for some people because this show, Hitman Hollow was trying to promote, was promoted as it was going to be on national television. That's how it was promoted, right? Everybody was under the impression that this show was going on national television. The Bags and Bodies show actually ended up being on a exclusive app, right? Called Coastal Rain TV. I call Co Coastal Clear Water. Coastal Rain TV to where you have to download this app and you have to subscribe for about $5.99 a month in order to watch this show on this specific app. Mind you, there's nothing else on the app. It's just episodes that are going to be premiering on this app. There was a big controversy that was going on around that situation. This video here is showing us a text message thread, right? This short clip that we're about to watch, right, is showing us a very short message thread between two people, D.I. the Hennyman and Byron Blake. This text message thread here that we're looking at right now, guys, that we're about to listen to, right, and, and, and review is between D.I. the Hennyman and Byron Blake. In this text message, D.I. the Henny Man reaches out to Byron Blake. As a matter of fact, hold on, where's my remote? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Matter of fact, let's take a listen real quick to how Byron Blake breaks down this clip. Be aware as to be alive. So I went back and looked. November 19th, I get a text, right, from Henny. 
What's up? You cool? Yeah, I'm good. Who that? This Henny. Okay, what's the word, homie? Man, you cool? Cause some info came across my desk. I'm just checking in before I run this story on them YouTube streets. I'm like, damn, what's the story? You know? Anyway, nigga saying they trying to get him to post a story about me being a rat. Whatever, whatever. HMLB is who was trying to do it. Y'all tell me what HMLB stand for. I ain't going to say it, but somebody tell me what HMLB stand for. Anyway, you see, I hit him back. Like, man, I thought HMLB meant hit my line back because I was calling him. He like, I'm at work, but I get it now. Anyway, look what else was going down November 19th. This shit self-explanatory, man. Some of you guys probably don't understand what you just witnessed or just heard, right? Byron Blake is coming out and letting us know, bruh, that D.I. the handyman was sent information, right? He was sent information, right? Or he was sent a request by Hitman Holla to upload a fake block to upload a block bruh calling byron blake a rat right so i hope you guys are following me so d the henny man was hit up by either hitman holler or somebody on his team asking d the henny man most likely offering some kind of financial compensation to upload a block putting out a false narrative and a false story on Byron Blake saying that he was a rat, bruh. This is what, this is the extent of what battle rap is now becoming. Do you guys want to know, or do you guys understand what the purpose of something like that is, right? Byron Blake then brought up the fact that the Bags and Bodies premiere was happening at around the same exact time that he's receiving these text messages from D.I. the Hennyman. So basically, what's going on in this situation, right, is that controversy sells. We all know this very clearly, bruh. Controversy sells. If we do the mathematics, what do you think would have happened had D.I. the Henny Man not let Byron Blake know that this was going on, that this is what was going on, imagine what would have happened had that blog been uploaded, calling Byron Blake a rat or whatever the case is, with no paperwork, no proof or nothing, just a blog, just to put it out there calling him a rat. Imagine what would happen after that point, right? And this is the idea behind doing this. Theater, staged, things are fake, bro. People are not as real as they proclaim themselves to be, bruh. You know what the idea behind that is, bruh? So that Byron Blake could then go on a campaign, pretty much, defending himself without even having to because it's a false story. It would have Byron Blake out there speaking on Hitman Holla's name. Bringing more and more traction and or controversy and or traction or, or, or views to this premiere that Hitman Holla was having right after this story was supposed to come out, bruh. You guys want to know what the extent that we are going to now, bro? And you know what? I'm so glad that these types of things are being exposed in battle rap, bro. You know why? Because this helps me to understand how these things happen as it pertains to the bigger picture, bruh. This helps me to understand the types of things that happen as it pertains to the bigger picture, bruh, in the real industry, in the real Hollywood, in the news and all these things, bruh. Things are staged, faked, and created, bruh, to be sold. Simply to be sold, bruh. Again, need I review what we just witnessed, bruh? Byron Blake drops a blog today. Letting us know, bruh, that yo, these guys sent D.I. to Henny, man, this, the message thread is here. I'll, I'll attach the message thread so you guys can see, bruh.
D.I. the Henny Man, a popular blogger, was reached out to by Hitman Holla and his team to put up a fake story on Byron Blake, bro. For the purpose of Byron Blake responding and going on a campaign about Hitman Holla, which would in turn help to promote the Bags and Bodies premiere, bro. I can't believe this, bro. Lord, don't tell me that this is true, even though we see that this is true. I need to know what you guys think of this mess, bro. This is absolutely ridiculous, bro. But nowadays, I'm not putting this type of thing past anybody, bro. When it comes to the bag, bro, people are willing to throw their morals, their integrity, their self-respect, everything right out the window, bro. Right out the window. Let me know what you guys think, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and direct from the battle.